Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today we're changing things up on the channel with a new series. The series is called Off Grid Ham Shack. <laughs> Could it actually be called anything else? So, a quick explanation. Over the years we've focused almost entirely on MAM portable off grid field communications. The reason for that was MAM portable field communications away from your cars, away from managed campsites, away from diesel generators and things like that. They really force us to optimize our operating principles. We learn how to operate more efficiently. We learn how to conserve energy. We learn how to take a minimal approach to communications. A minimal approach and the efficiency are both critical in off-grid communications. Now it may be a little difficult to understand why the heck we might start to focusing on off-grid ham shacks. Well, it's actually quite simple. When we're talking about emergency communications for the community or survival radio for our groups or families, it's important that as many of us as possible have the capabilities of supporting the community or our individual groups. For example, Running a Windlink station or a 24-7 JS8 call station, a VAR AC station equally up 24-7. Running a packet radio station on VHF or a VARA FM station on VHF or UHF. All of these things require operators who are dedicated to providing these services to the community or our individual groups. In order to do that, these stations need to be autonomous in that they are resilient, able to withstand a grid failure or anything else that might cut electricity to our homes or ham shacks. Now before we move on, there's two companies supporting this video. The first is Power Queen. Power Queen provided a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery to power my ham shack. This 100 amp hour battery is the core of my off-grid ham shack. It provides power to all of my computers, my lighting, my radios, my amplifiers, absolutely everything with one exception, uh, the diesel heater to heat the ham shack. We'll come to a video on that later on. Anyway, the other company supporting this video is Genison, who provided the charge controllers um, for the various strings of solar panels I have coming into the ham shack. So, show some love to Power Queen. Show some love to Guinnesson. You guys have uh, actually already done so with Guinnesson over the years, so that's great. Thank you. And stick with me, and I'll tell you more about it. All right, guys, let's go. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, the Power Queen 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery is the core of my off-grid ham shack. It supplies power to my radios, my amplifiers, it's providing power to the lighting, my computers, it's everything I need to run my Windlink station, my JS8 call station, my air compressors, anything else I have here in the ham shack, which is also doubling as a workshop, so that I can do what I need to do on a day-to-day. The battery pack has a built-in 100 amp load BMS. In addition to that 100 amp load, the BMS provides overcharging protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, short circuit protection, and over temperature protection. The BMS also allows the battery to be charged with up to 100 amps of charge current. Certainly, the amount of load we can put on this battery pack is complete overkill for the off-grid ham shack. However, the amount of solar storage it provides the off-grid ham shack is critical to a successful outcome in a grid-down scenario. Now, one of the main features of this lithium iron phosphate battery is its parallel and series expansion capabilities. For our needs, amateur radio needs, where we're operating from 12 to 15 volts, generally speaking, we can connect up to four identical Power Queen 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery packs in parallel with this battery pack I have in my off grid ham shack. This expansion capability allows us to connect four batteries in series for higher voltage or four batteries in parallel 
for greater storage. If we're running our ham radio gear on DC power, then parallel is the way to go because it maintains the voltage of the lithium iron phosphate battery, nominal voltage of 12.8 volts, but expands the storage capabilities. The 100 amp hour version of the Power Queen battery comes in at 24.25 pounds or about 11 kilograms. Despite the light weight, the Power Queen battery comes in at a fraction of the weight of a similar capacity AGM battery, yet offers twice the capacity of a similar capacity AGM. Finally, when we're trying to understand the investment in lithium iron phosphate batteries, we have to talk about charge cycles or the cyclic life of the battery. For this battery, it's 4,000 recharge cycles at 100% depth of discharge. This means we can charge it up, discharge it, and charge it again 4,000 times with 100% depth of discharge. After 8,000 charge cycles, we're looking at 80% depth of discharge, or 15,000 charge cycles, 60% depth of discharge. Despite the initial cost, this is an excellent long-term investment if you're looking at it and calculating it that way. Connected to that battery pack is uh, power distribution, of course, distributing power to my laptop and radios and uh, lighting, things like that. You can think of this off-grid ham shack as kind of an RV or like a, a van life type situation. But it's set up in exactly the same except way. Except it doesn't move. So my solar panels are set up in strings. The first string is three 100 watt panels in series. And those are connected to a Victron 7515. Because of the noise the Victron controller generates, I'll replace that the first opportunity I can. The second string are the two 40 watt panels in parallel you see up on my tower. The third string are the two 100 watt panels on the southwest facing wall of my garage. Each string has a unique charge controller. Eventually all those charge controllers will be Genison charge controllers. Let's talk about the flow of energy from the solar panels into the ham shack. So as many of you know by now, I have several strings of solar panels. All of them connect to their own, or let's say it a different way, each string of solar panels connects to its own charge controller. Each one of those charge controllers connects in parallel to a power distribution board. The power distribution board connects to the battery. The battery connects to a massive 300 amp kill switch, which in turn connects to another power distribution board, which provides power for my radio equipment, my laptops, and an EcoFlow River 2 Max. The EcoFlow River 2 Max is given its power through its DC input port on the back of the device. That power comes from the load port on the Victron 7515 charge controller. The EcoFlow River 2 Max provides a redundant power supply for my critical communications gear. This also ensures, regardless of the state of charge of my Power Queen 100 amp hour main power supply, the communications gear will still have an additional half kilowatt of power to power my critical communications. Is it overkill? Absolutely. But the thing is, multiple layers of redundancy built into our emergency power ensure we keep our critical communications up and running despite the level of the disaster or grid down scenario. All right, guys, I understand this video is a bit abstract, so we're going to go ahead and start shutting it down. Here's the absolute bottom line. There will be no communications without power. It's that simple. Okay, in upcoming episodes, we're going to go ahead and wire up all of the charge controllers in parallel, mount them to a nice board, and do the cabling for them. We're also going to talk about off-grid heat for the ham shack. We're not going to rely on electricity or wood heating. We're going to do something a little bit different. We'll also talk about adding an additional string of solar panels, a massive additional string of solar panels, to the off-grid ham shack. And finally... We're going to find a way to finance an additional three 100 amp hour power queen lithium iron phosphate batteries. 
That upgrade, along with a new string or a massive string of additional solar panels, will ensure the off-grid ham shack is completely self-sustainable throughout the year up here at 65 degrees north. All right, guys. Look, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content that I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Ciao.